so you're thinking about moving to Carmichael? Well, you are in the right place. Hey, it's Renee Friedrich with the Friedrich team here at eXp Realty and with the Living in Sacramento YouTube channel. And if you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the alert bell so you are the first to know about all things living, working, and playing here in beautiful Sacramento and the wonderful surrounding areas like Carmichael where we are today. And I'm getting started today at Milagro, which is quite possibly the fanciest food court um, in all of the region, <laughs> maybe even maybe even the state, who knows. Um, and they've got several different restaurants here. It's all a big shared space, so um, super fun. And if you're going out with friends and you can't decide on what to, what to eat, this is a great place to check out because you've got a lot of different types of foods. You've got sushi, Italian, um, Hispanic, Mexican, you know, you name it. They've got a little bit of everything here. They even have a little gelato shop over there and a coffee shop. So lots and lots of stuff to choose from. So I wanted to start here today because this is one of the newer amenities here in Carmichael. And I just love it. There's also an event center. So if you are having a big event, this is a, a great place to check out. And the Chamber of Commerce even has a little satellite office here. Um, and so you can find out all of the businesses here in the Carmichael area right here at the Milagro Event Center and um, Food Court. And like I said, we're gonna be exploring Carmichael today, which is a really great suburb outside of Sacramento. We're about 20 minutes from downtown, give or take, depending on which part of Carmichael you're in. It is quite spread out, so there are a lot of areas to explore. Um, as usual, we're gonna go check out three different neighborhoods today. And um, one of those being, um, you know, probably the most sought after as far as schools go um, in our area. So we're gonna see um, our second home today is gonna be over in Del Deo. And that is one of the highest rated schools in all of Sacramento County, I wanna say. And it is a public school, which is fantastic. Um, so we have a lot of friends and clients that really um, try to find a home within that um, particular school boundary um, because it is so, so highly rated. Um, so we're gonna go over there. Um, speaking of the schools, we are part of San Juan District and um, it is overall a B plus rating as far as the um, district goes. And like I said, we've got some standout schools in the area that really do super well. Um, Carmichael, like I said, it's about 20 minutes from downtown and we've got about 80,000 residents that call Carmichael home, a little bit less. And, um, oh gosh, that's about 32,000 households as well. And I'll have some more data, of course, for you guys as we're going on our tour. Um, we are gonna go, like I said, check out three different neighborhoods. The pricing in Carmichael is um, very diverse. So we've got um, the most affordable house right now, which is a little bit of a fixer upper here in Carmichael, is just under 300,000 at the moment. And we go all the way up to, you know, a couple million dollars. And so we're gonna see a good variety today. Um, I think we've got something in the 600 range, something around 900 in Del Deo, and then we've got a really nice luxury home that I'm gonna take you guys to as well and I'll probably end up at one of the local parks here um, because that is another thing that Carmichael is really known for is the wonderful parks and amenities that we've got here in the area so let's get rolling okay so here we are at our first stop in Carmichael and I don't know how I managed to do this you guys but I always end up on trash day out <laughs> In these neighborhoods so um, this is a 1961 built ranch style home um, behind me and like I was saying at our first stop um, this one's listed at 625 so a little bit higher than the median sales price here in Carmichael um, and yet still you know a really nice entry-level home um, it's almost a quarter acre so really really good sized lot and I've got my little fact sheet here it is just under 2,000 square feet so a really good size home too so price per square foot I would say it's you know a, a pretty good value here and it's a really beautiful um, you know established neighborhood and everybody keeps their yards really nice and so it's just one of those you know iconic Carmichael neighborhoods that um, you want to end up in and I was just um, said hello to one of the neighbors super friendly and so again I'm just about 2,000 square feet just under and it is three to four bedrooms so there's probably um, an office space which is great with all of us being able to work from home these days and then there's also two full baths which is fantastic um, 
and there goes the delivery person. So this one has been on the market for a little bit, so we may see some price reductions um, in our area. Um, and this is December 2022 as I'm um, filming this, and we have started to see some prices coming down from the peaks that we had in April of 2022. So certainly a good time to be a buyer relocating to our area. So again, if you are looking to make a move, whether it's in a week, a month, or even a year, um, we are definitely here to help. and. <laughs> and you know look forward to answering any questions that you have about the area and the housing market of course and if you do have questions our team hears from people like you all of the time so you can send us a text make a comment here on um, whatever works best for you and we've got a couple more houses that we're going to go see today and then um, a really pretty famous park as well that is um, on the agenda so I will get you guys over to those spots and we'll go from there We are at house number two for our Carmichael tour and welcome to Del Deo. Um, so this is the neighborhood that I was mentioning where they have the incredibly sought after elementary school. Um, oh my gosh, the parent involvement. Like they do so many fundraisers and they've got such great programs for the kids. And so it just really is a treasure for the Carmichael area in Sacramento and in general. So um, this particular house, it was built in 1957. And um, as you can see from the photos, you know, is um, really nicely done. Um, it's almost a half acre, so really good sized lot too. And the, which is pretty common for the lots here in the neighborhood. Um, you can see behind me, I mean, there's just a ton of pride of ownership for the neighborhood, of course, as well. Um, and I wanted to come over here so you could see. They've got a really nice um, porta cache and that leads back into the garage back behind the house and just really lovely curb appeal. Um, the, one of the things, I mean, there's so many things that I love about Carmichael. Um, one of the things that I do love about Carmichael though is that you can be driving down the street and you'll see palm trees, um, redwoods, oak trees, magnolias, I mean, you name it. And I know I've mentioned this before, Sacramento is the city of trees. And so the whole region just is, um, you know, like, chock full of all sorts of trees and just the the difference actually there's even an olive tree right behind me um, so you just really get to see it all as far as nature goes here um, so back to the stats about this house though so again it's here in the very coveted Del Deo neighborhood and um, this particular home it's just under 28 2800 square feet um, they are listed at 934 and um, Hey, one of the nice neighbors is walking by right now. Hello. <laughs> um, and you do see that quite a bit too here in Carmichael, which is another thing that I just really enjoy as I've been driving around and, and checking out some of the houses and um, parks here um, in the community today. You just see people walking their dogs, walking, you know, with friends, and it's just really lovely. And while it is a cool December day, which is why I'm all bundled up, um, you know, you still see people out and about really enjoying nature and staying active, which is wonderful. So um, other fun facts about this particular house, like I said, it is almost a half acre. Um, it's three bedrooms and three full baths, actually. So, um, you know, you've got a bathroom for every bedroom, which is always nice. And um, as you'll see from some of the photos, you know, they've just, um, it's, it's well maintained and it just has a lot to offer. And again, you've just got these beautiful wide streets and that um, coveted elementary school. And then you're literally just down the street from Jesuit and then also the public high schools as well, which again, those um, are all B plus rated schools here in the San Juan district. Um, you've also got really good, um, teacher to student ratio, which is about 23 students to each teacher, which is also nice. So um, I didn't mention this before when we were at our other spots, um, the average um, or the median household income here in Carmichael is just over 70,000. And so we've um, definitely, there's a lot of people that have been in the area for a long time. And so, you know, they're, um, Unfortunately, you can't, you know, buy a $900,000 house with a $70,000 median income. Um, so we'll probably see that number jump up here in the coming years as well as more people. Um, like I said in some of our other videos, we have so much industry and so many businesses moving to the Sacramento area. Our Greater Sacramento Economic Council has done such a good job of really attracting business and making the Sacramento region in general a really good affordable California option. 
Um, you know, if we were in the Bay Area, a home like this, a one story, almost 2,800 square feet on a half acre, I mean, we'd be talking probably three or four million dollars. Um, and so to be able to get into really one of the prized neighborhoods for um, Carmichael and the Sacramento region in general, and to do that under a million dollars is still pretty remarkable when you think about the rest of California and how expensive it can be to live in um, our beautiful state. Um, one of the things I love about the Sacramento region as a whole, as I'm sitting here bundled up in my jacket, is we actually do get four seasons. So yes, we don't have, you know, the, the beaches that you might see, you know, in Santa Cruz or, um, you know, all along the Central Coast and down into um, LA and Orange County and even San Diego County. Um, while we don't have that, we do have um, the seasons. And so you really do get a little taste of everything. and the changing colors of the leaves recently. It's just been really pretty and, and it's nice to, to be able to have that. Um, I mean, sure, having 70 to 80 degrees all year round in places like Santa Barbara, that's nice too. Um, and it's almost impossible to afford to live there. So <laughs> we're not only the affordable California option, we are also, um, we give you a little bit more um, diversity as far as the seasons go. So it's it's not just hot all the time, it's not just cold all the time, we really get it all here in Sacramento. So I have one more house for us and then I'm gonna take us to um, one of the like really beautiful parks and golf courses to wrap things up today. And let's get to that. Okay, and we are at our last stop um, for the home tour part of today here in Carmichael. And um, this house, oh my gosh, um, so it looks like it's just a normal, um, normal size house back there. And yet it's 5,300 square feet. Um, it is on over a half acre. And this particular house you'll see from the pictures that we share, it's got a pool, it's got a tennis court with a basketball hoop on it and um, so many great amenities and so, gosh, five bedrooms, five baths, um, you name it, it really, it's got all the things. So if you are a family and looking to be in Carmichael, um, this would be a great home. And there's lots more like it, because obviously, depending on when you see this, this particular house may or may not be available. Um, we're super close to the American River though. Also very, very close to Arden Hills Country Club, which is, you know, just a beautiful, um, they've got spa facilities, they've got event, um, facilities and really wonderful restaurant and a really great gym as well and so that's something that a lot of folks that do live here in the area definitely um, you know become members and just really enjoy that amenity as well and so um, again we're very close to um, the river we're um, gosh this part of Carmichael we're probably about 20-25 minutes to downtown um, another little bit further to get to the airport so if you do travel a lot for work um, that would be what you'd be looking at you know probably about 35 minutes to get to the airport to get out of town and um, it's just like one of those communities that is really um, super special and you know folks that live here in Carmichael some of our clients some of their favorite things are a lot of the things I've mentioned already. Um, you've got some great local restaurants, Bella Brew, which um, when we were out on our Natomas tour, I took you guys by one of Liz's restaurants there in Natomas, and she's got another one right here in Carmichael. Um, there's also Mateo's, which is a great um, local um, pizza and pasta place. Um, of course, you've got all the normal shopping, um, you know, Safeway, Rayleigh's, and all of that. There's a very nice Rayleigh's that um, we just passed on the way to getting to here. And then also, it's not in Carmichael, however, it's right on the border of Carmichael and um, another area of Sacramento, which um, 95864 is the zip code. It's one of my favorite zip codes in the city of Sacramento. Um, we're gonna be touring that very soon as well. Um, anyway, there's a Whole Foods right there also. So lots of great local options for restaurants, for bars, um, for shopping. And you know, again, you've got wonderful parks and just great amenities here in Carmichael great schools and just a really good overall community. So as promised, I have one more stop for you guys. We're gonna go out to Ansel Hoffman um, to the golf course and the park there. And then we will wrap up this Carmichael tour. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have any questions about Carmichael or any other community here in the area, please don't hesitate to reach out. Mike and I and the whole team love to hear from clients just like you. And we can't wait to help you make a smooth move to Sacramento.
Okay, so as promised, we are wrapping things up today here with our Carmichael tour. And I am at the beautiful Ansel Hoffman golf course. And there's also a park and, um, oh my gosh, so much to see here. And we're minutes via foot <laughs> to the American River as well. So it's just a really lovely atmosphere. Um, you can come out here. It's a public golf course, so you can... Um, get your golf in, you can enjoy nature. There's a nature preserve here that's just really beautiful as well. And then of course, hop on over to the American River Parkway as well and get a nice bike or jog in. And so um, this is definitely one of those treasures for the Carmichael area that people just love to come to and take advantage of as far as the amenities go. Um, the whole Carmichael Parks and Rec um, team, they've got so many parks in the area, so many trails, so many wonderful amenities that it really is one of those things that people, um, the reason that people look to Carmichael as their community of choice when they're looking to relocate here in the area. So I hope you enjoyed the Carmichael tour. Um, a couple other like just fun facts that we hadn't gotten a chance to talk about yet. Um, we didn't talk about, there's actually a really very, very well known private high school Jesuit here in Carmichael as well. Um, we've had a lot of our clients have sent their boys there. It is an all boys school. Um, and then close by, but not in Carmichael, is the um, sister school, if you will, the all girls high school. And um, again, though, the high schools and the elementary, all, all of the schools here in the district that are public are also really well rated. So stuff to look forward to there as well. Um, and so if you do have any questions about Carmichael or anywhere here in the Sacramento area, again, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the alert bell so that you are the first to know about all things living, working, playing here in the Sacramento region. And we look forward to connecting with you again soon. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.